Welcome back to our breakdown of the music of the Discover Hope trailer from E3 2019. In part two, we're going to take a closer look at how the composer's musical framework creates callbacks to the Bungie era, how it sets up musical identities for different entities in the story, including the Halo ring itself, and much more. In part one, we talked about some of the tie-ins with older tracks in Discover Hope. We also talked about some of the thematic material we might expect to hear as recurring motives throughout the Halo Infinite campaign. In fact, since the making of my first video, one of the new tracks released from the Infinite soundtrack does just that, reusing a theme from Discover Hope. More on that later. Alongside the track, 343 released an interview with the composer of the trailer, Curtis Schweitzer, who reveals that this was his first assignment when working on Halo Infinite. In part two, I want to take a look at some of the more delicately woven connective tissue, which may not stand out to the ear, but sets the tone and establishes a musical landscape for the emotional narrative. We'll start the second part of this breakdown in the same scene we focused on last time. Following the reveal of the chief with the French horn solo, the pilot begins running cursory diagnostics accompanied by a solo snare drum rudiment, which supports the very routine activity of the pilot. We'll get back to percussion later. But at the pilot's shift in tone from steady to anxious and unsure, the orchestra cues in, starting at the bottom and building up to an epic climax. Okay. If you can hear me in there, I hope you're ready. Please don't die. Please don't die. This phrase is built atop a progression that goes back and forth between major tense on D flat and E flat rising strings creating passing dissonances that suggest an emphasis on linear motion of voices rather than vertical sonorities. Each line stands on its own, a quality born of the need for individual parts of the music within the game to be able to be broken apart and stand strong on their own dynamically, a subject Curtis gets into in his July 2020 Waypoint interview with Sketch. Even though this is a curated cinematic in the game, as opposed to an interactive gameplay moment, this way of constructing the music bleeds in here. Generally, this type of progression from D flat to E flat might then rise to F, a pretty typical bassline motion. However, below the final E flat sonority, a bass trombone lays down a low C, the diatonic dominant to F minor, ramping up the tension at the last moment only to release without resolution. Please don't die. Please don't die. Instead of resolving on a chord, there is a brief silence, followed by the trumpet solo we discussed in part one of my analysis. Yes! Yes! As I mentioned earlier, themes are already beginning to recur in the game. Alongside the Curtis Schweitzer interview, one of Curtis's tracks from the soundtrack was released, titled Reverie. In the second half of the track, the piano presents the same theme as the trumpet in Discover Hope. I'm glad to see this. You may remember this as something I yearn for in part one. I'll be very excited to see how that theme is used in context of the story, but until then we will just have to appreciate the musical cohesion. So trailing out of its duet with the trumpet, the French horn continues on, accompanied by very high strings in a simple octave Fs with a C between, much like the piano when the pilot wipes off the windscreen, but with an added B flat this time for a richer sus chord color. This unfolds delicately, voices often moving only one or two at a time, including the first appearance of an A-natural so far, creating an unstable dominant sonority. Similar semitone dissonances cluster up in the high strings, giving way to a single held note high above. Yes! 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 We're going home! <laughs> oh, welcome back, Chief. I rerouted what little power I had into your suit. Hmm. Looks like there's a problem with the servos in your Now, house. what happens next is very interesting. Chief looks himself up and down, turning a clenched fist over and suit. opening it to reveal an object. Hmm. Looks like there's a problem with the servos in your hands. Stay calm. You've been out there a while. I know I saw something in... An AI containment chip, along with an E minor triad a shift from the previous inverted G minor triad. 
This movement from G minor to E minor is what's known as a chromatic median relationship. This is to say that the chord is non-diatonically related to its predecessor, which again means it's not in the same key, feeling foreign and mysterious. This is much like the opening of Combat Evolved with different notes. Chromatic median is not uncommon in Halo and is already prevalent in Halo Infinite. The Become motif, for instance, from the 2020 promotional trailer Step Inside is harmonized with similar chords, E major to G major. Until you step inside. However, the use of chromatic median seems to be especially pointed here, as the chord change happens totally in sync with the reveal of the chip as if to suggest that its use will carry some kind of narrative purpose going forward, one pertaining to our missing AI companion. It's just a small thing, but it feels very suspect. We'll just have to wait and see. Chief restores the AI chip to his helmet port, the following continue prompt accompanied by high sustained violins. In game, this is most likely a tutorial sequence that acquaints the player with the controls. The high string note is likely held out until the player opts to continue. A brief percussion roll pushes into that first finish the fight chord as Chief pushes out of the power cables affixing him to the pelican, leading to a short phrase of snare rudiment that accompanies the Chief's first line of dialogue. Whoa, 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 easy there, big guy. You're not status report. This leads us into another topic of Halo music. Tagging on to snare drum's use in military bands and use in cinema as a military sound, Halo has often made pointed use of snare rudiments to set moments preceding action. The measured calm before the storm, so to speak. I think of Keys planning the abandoning of the autumn in Halo Combat Evolved. Captain, the cannon was my last offensive option. All right. I'm initiating cold protocol article two for abandoning the autumn. That means you too, Cortana. As well as Hood strategizing when Covenant arrives at Earth in Halo 2. You have the mech gun, Cortana. As soon as they come in range, open up. Gladly. Something's not right. The fleet that destroyed Reach was 50 times this size. Or Chief's briefing at the beginning of Halo 3, among other instances. What about Halo? We stopped it, but only temporarily. Now the Prophet of Truth is looking for something called the Ark where he'll be able to fire all the Halo rings. With Master Chief's fervent affirmation of his confidence in Cortana to Lord Hood during the battle planning preceding the Battle of the Ark, snare drum and percussion drives the cliche gear up sequence that follows. Earth is all we have left. You trust Cortana that much? Sir, yes sir. This is either the best decision you've ever made or the worst. Hell of it is, Chief. I doubt I'll live long enough to find out which. In fact, it's used in Infinite again later on, namely when Chief is coordinating with the pilot before stepping out onto the ring. When you're done with this war, we get away from here. Far away. Wait here. Oh, please. Let me see what I can find. Cannons first. When I get back, we can look. Together. The subsequent sequence is the lead up to the introduction of the game's main setting, Installation 07. We lost. Lost everything. There's nothing left for us here. Leading into the reveal, something momentous stirs up below. Choir. You know what that means. Seriously, you know what that means. You hear it almost every time a ring appears in Halo, when the Prophets discuss Installation 05 with the Arbiter in Halo 2. Halo! Its divine wind will rush through the stars, propelling all who are worthy along the path to salvation. How to start this process? When the Ark's replacement to Installation 04 is revealed in Halo 3. When Installation
Constellation 03 is seen in Halo 4. A Halo? Installation 3. It's where Infinity found the coordinates for Requiem. Then why are they bypassing it? Because the Composer's not on the ring. And so on. Although used in other ways in the series as well, choir is a sound intrinsic to the Halo array. And as Curtis Schweitzer talks about in his interview with Sketch, Halo Infinite's soundtrack is continuing this ideal to establish a musical presence for the ring, as though it is its own character. Given Zeta Halo's ripe potential for deep lore references and connections to other characters and events from the series' past, I wonder how the music might evolve and unfold as our understanding of the ring deepens throughout the campaign. Back to the trailer, as the Chief makes his way to the window, the music builds to the grand unveiling of the ring, the full orchestra led now by choir. Let's take a look at this. The ensemble builds up from a placid, non-tonic fifth, to a tense major second, etc., gradually working up mostly scale-wise. As the fractured ring comes into view, a sonorous A-flat lands at the bottom, driving the phrase forward with wonder and grandeur. There's nothing left for us here. Hunting for here is. Till, the entrance of drums to lead us into the coming action, just like the silent cartographer Beach Assault in the original 2001 game. However, that's not the end of this trailer. A bonus scene follows the title card. I chose you because you were special. I knew we would be perfect together. And I was right. The accompanying music, just like the percussion we just heard, is not unique to Halo Infinite. In fact, the flutes in the first half are pulled from the track Luck, which plays during the opening of Halo 3, alongside another narration by Jen Taylor as Cortana. Like the others, you are strong and swift and brave. A natural leader. But you had something they didn't. This is the first and only time in all we've seen of Halo Infinite so far that we've heard woodwinds. Despite that, I doubt the use of woodwinds is significant here, seeing as this track is really just used as a callback, and the music is perfect for both, even after all these years. At this point, we've covered pretty much the whole trailer, but we've missed an important and really beautiful musical moment right at the beginning. Before Chief shows up at all, we have a very personal and powerful sequence with the pilot and his family. He has been surviving likely for months with no contact. His only beacon of sanity is a recorded message from his wife and child. Before the message blinks out and the alert chime snaps him out of his emotional state and into the adventure we've been covering, there's a simple and wonderfully touching piano solo which accompanies the message. Can you tell Daddy how big you are? Are you so big? <laughs> and can you sing? Good singing. How about I miss you? Miss you. And I love you. I love you. I love you, Daddy. I love you, Daddy. And I can't wait to see you. Can you say see you? See you. Then bye bye. Bye bye. It isn't much, and there's no apparent thematic material, but it's tender and certainly brings on the tears. I love the way the piano interacts with the child's diegetic singing. I really hope we see his family again toward the end of the game. And with that, we conclude our comprehensive look at the music of the 2019 trailer for Halo Infinite. In case you missed it, check out part one. And if you enjoyed my analysis and want to see more about Halo Infinite, check out my deep dive on the music of the trailers from the 2020 Xbox Showcase, and subscribe as I'll be continuing to look at Infinite as we see more. Until then, I'm Noah, and this is Traveling Halo. I just want to mention really quick, they also came out with an interview with Joel Korolitz, who's the third composer for Infinite, uh, and a track that he put together for the Infinite soundtrack that is based on A Walk in the Woods which is a track that appeared in um, 
Combat Evolved 2, 3, almost, I think every game, there's a version of that besides 4 and 5. Uh, my intro and outro music is based on A Walk in the Woods because that's one of my favorite tracks from this franchise. It's called Through the Trees, which, what a name. In the article, he does a great job of talking about reharmonization and uh, w- ways to freshen up the Halo sound by taking the same melodies, putting them over other chords. Maybe I'll talk about that more in another video. Uh, certainly, this inspired me to make reaction videos to reading these articles as they come out, which there's supposed to be more of them. Anyway, that's fantastic. Look for that. I'm so excited. I'm so happy. Halo Infinite. I don't care when it's coming out. Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby.